Hey, I'm Carl. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've got a big rolling toolbox here made by Hart, sold by Walmart. It's around $30, $35 or so. I forgot what I paid for it. So let me rearrange the camera angle. Let's do a review on this thing. I'm going to see if I like this or, or see if I need to take it back and get my money back. Thanks for watching. Okay, to get started, let's go over the obvious things first. The height is going to be, because when you stand it up like this on the wheels, I'm going to call that the height. So the height is going to be, including the handle, right at two feet. The width, 14 and a half inches. And the depth total is roughly 17 and a half inches. Here you have a label on top. Open and lock switch right here. We have the brand name right here on top. Hold it up this way. We have a rubberized handle which does extend. It is kind of wobbly in there. Go. Just kind of wobbly, which I'm not real thrilled about. On the bottom, it has two rubber wheels, very thin rubber coating on plastic with the axle going through here. Here's the one of the sides with the label. Let's go ahead and read this label here. Called the Master Loader. Easy transport with 7 inch all terrain rubber wheels. Customizable design with two small part lid organizers. Expandable handle with soft and ergonomic grip. www.harttools.com And uh, this is sold by Walmart. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Just turn the handle and this top will slide this way. And we have a storage compartment right here. Now, the storage compartment, you see, has two little trays here. And this divider will come out. Okay, without the divider, it is approximately nine and a half inches by just over one foot by I'm gonna call that three inches deep. Let me put this back in here. You know you see the chamfered edges. The chamfered part will go down into the slot. Pops right in. Now it does not have a lock on this when it closes. It just uh, very freely opens up, which is kind of a disadvantage in my opinion. Okay, here on this side, we have another lid that does not lock. It just freely opens up. Empty space here with some holes for whatever you might need to put in there. They're not very deep. In fact, they don't even go the depth of this tray right here. They're about a third of the depth of this total tray. To lock it flat back into place, you just kind of slam it shut. Okay. Well, that's a disadvantage. This one does not slide open unless you have the handle extended. There we go. So that's a major disadvantage on, on that. You'll see the inside right here. It has, let's go back right here. The wheels are behind here. Nice big compartment though. I wonder if you could line this with styrofoam and make a 
Make a cooler out of it. I don't know. Possibility. Slam that back shut. Rolls pretty easy. Now one thing I did notice earlier when I was bringing it in, if you're pushing it instead of pulling it, sometimes the handle retracts back into the case. There's not a lock holding this handle. That's another disadvantage. It easily, I would imagine if there's a lot of weight in here, pushing instead of pulling, this handle is going to easily go back into those tracks. But overall, it's around $35 at Walmart. I, I believe I paid like $35. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have an immediate use for this. I think that's a huge disadvantage right there. You cannot open this without pulling this handle out. Huge disadvantage. Another disadvantage is you have to almost you hear that click. It's, it doesn't close as nice as, as it should. And you cannot access these compartments unless this is opened up. Disadvantage on that one. Now you'll notice these tabs right here and these two clear tabs, they kind of go, these two clear go up under here and these two go up under here. There we go. Locks it into place. I think it'd be a much better advantage if you could open these without having to open up the whole top. Something Hart might want to reconsider on this. Anyway, uh, like I said, I don't have an immediate use for this. So, considering it has this handle and these two kind of odd locking lids and because of these tires being a very very thin rubber coating because of those few reasons I don't think I'll be able to keep this box now I think one advantage of this somebody that has a lot of Quilting supplies, knitting supplies, stuff like that. This might be a good box for them. Maybe a sewer's box. Maybe you could put one of those little featherweight sewing machines in here. I'm not sure. But anyway, for my use, I don't think I will be able to use this. Especially since this handle. I don't know, it just doesn't really seem as good quality as it could be. Anyway, if you go to Walmart, if you have a need for one of these, check this out. You might like it, you might not like it. But anyway, my name is Carl. I do appreciate being here.